Hey guys, this is Wolf Hoffman and you're listening to The Blog of Rock. Welcome to The Block of Rock, the podcast about rock stars and their story. My name is Uwe and I'll take you backstage and present to you the stories behind your legends. Of course we're talking about the music that connects us all, but also about the people behind it. What inspired and motivated them, how did they create their brand and what kind of rock star tips do they have for you outside. <laughs> Hi guys, today we're going back to where this podcast series began exactly 10 months ago. To accept. To the band that melted German heavy metal for the first time almost 40 years ago with their groundbreaking albums Breaker and Restless and Wild. With his razor sharp guitar solos, one man is still at the steam boiler after more than four decades. Wolf Hoffman. The new hot iron Too Mean to Die is about to be released. I met Wolf during his promotional tour in Cologne, where of course we talked about the new songs, the special production conditions, the expansion to a now three-part guitar army, and the change to plans. Hello Wolf Hoffman, good to see you. It's you're finally back in Germany doing the promotion for the new album To Mean To Die. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's great to be back in the fatherland. Every other country says motherland. Germans say fatherland. But you're not coming with empty hands, you're coming with a new album. That's right. So I'm tell never me about this. Handed. How can I come back empty handed? We've got a brand new album. It's called Too Mean to Die, which fits perfectly in the Corona times because we figured let's not do a Corona album. Let's not say a, let's not have a feel good theme in this whole thing. We say we give the fans what they want. A, a t typical in your face metal album, and we, we call it Too Mean to Die. We're looking forward. It's you know, and the recordings took place under t a bit difficult circumstances. You recorded it in Nashville in your home. That's right, Nashville, Tennessee, where we've recorded the last few albums. And you know, it started business as usual. In March, we met with Andy Sneap and Mark Tonillo in the studio. We started laying down the first six or eight tracks, and all of a sudden, it was the news were getting worse and worse on TV. You know, we had. Fox or CNN run all day long and it was breaking news, breaking news. It got worse and worse. So basically we had to call it quits and said, you know, everybody wants to go home and we'll see how this all develops. And because we didn't know, is the world going to end or, you know, we can't really keep pretending nothing, you know, we're making a heavy metal album, but maybe there's no world anymore when we get, are done. So we didn't really know. Actually, we were a little, some of us were a little freaking out. But anyhow, long story short, we called it quits, went home and regrouped two or three months later to finish the album. But by that time, nobody could enter the country. Andy Sneap was in England, our producer. So we had no choice but to do it virtual uh, with, with him being present on, on a Zoom call during our recording process, which was unusual, but it actually worked okay. We, we, we managed to finish the songs. During these times, you have to be more inventive to somehow know, do your business. Yeah. We have to use technology, even though we want to be analog, man. Well, try this, Mark Tonillo. Try, try an analog Zoom call. That's not possible. <laughs> But it worked out. Yes, it did. Luckily. Yeah. First song is The Undertaker. It just came out as a video. Yeah, it's going to be the first uh, single, first, uh, first video. going to be released on October 2nd. And yeah, I think it's a typical accept song, but still... It's got a few elements in it that are new and yeah, it's called The Undertaker. The Undertaker, yeah, the lyrics are by Mark. That's I right, as always, yeah. Mark writes the, the lyrics and in this case he wrote the lyrics first and I, I wrote the music to the existing lyrics, which is not completely new, but it's not the norm for us. Usually it all starts with the music and then we think about lyrics after that. 
in this case he had the lyrics first and then I wrote the music to it and the whole album will be released next year January 15th it's gonna be out worldwide and uh, the only weird thing is our tour won't hap won't be happening then normally I mean all these years before and all these albums before we usually toured when the album comes out you go on tour and you promote the album and the album promotes the tour and all this kind of stuff but in this case it's all been pushed back to nine, uh, 2022 so we have to wait a year for the for the tour now which is totally unprecedented and crazy and hopefully before there will be some festival dates but you don't know we don't know but we hope that we can do the summer festivals in Europe in 2021 but all that seems like so far away in the future I don't even know man and then you will come with the full lineup because you're now a six pack six piece band yes a six well, pack six pack the six pack attack <laughs> uh, yeah I mean we discovered Phil Chaus he was filling in for Uwe on the last um, tour that we did with an orchestra that orchestra run we did in uh, last year in 2019 and we found out what a great player he is what a nice guy he is and how well we all got along so we figured instead of you know deciding between him and Uwe or just sending Phil back home and never see him again we just decided to just take him on board and as an additional guitar player and we already did some shows that way and it, it worked out fantastic it's slightly unusual because here it's one more but it works out great so now we've had except as a four piece as a five piece and now as a six piece band crazy so you needed also to rearrange some of the old tracks yeah for the some of it of course yeah. which is a lot of fun now we can you know pick and choose which parts who's going to play what and you know that's going to be fun and somebody could have a drink in between no no drinks just water i mean that's right we're german work is work that's right that's schnapps right. is schnapps <laughs> So how far are the reactions on the new album? You're doing a press tour currently. Yeah, and the album is done. The album is mixed. It's in the can. It's waiting on somebody's desks at Nuclear Blast to be released. And uh, I'm just doing the press right now, spreading the word and uh, talking to folks like you. We are looking forward. Thank you for taking well, so your time. I. Yeah, I hope you like it. I like it. So all the best to you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Movement. See you soon. Cheers. If you've enjoyed this episode, please follow my stories about Rockstars at the podcast dealer of your trust so that you don't miss the next episode. You can get it as a free subscription from Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Deezer, SoundCloud, YouTube and the podcast portal from Google. You can also listen to the stories that have been already published there because there's new food in here every week. And above all, tell your friends and share the good news on social media. Follow me also on Facebook and Instagram. You can find me under the Block of Rock and there you get more photos and videos about these episodes. All right, then let's hear again next time. Until then, keep on rocking.